Hello, good people of the internet, and welcome to more Dang and Rampa. We're Hello. going. Welcome to a more. to a quote unquote calm episode of Dang and Rampa. Yes. Wait till someone dies. So yeah, we have to try to be quiet because there are people in the other room talking about stuff that uh, we shouldn't, you know, be loud. Uh, yeah. Oh, we, we need to figure out who we want to hang with. Okay, right. Who are we hanging out with? Oh, that's not right. <laughs> Rodwood. Right. <laughs> we can't hang out with Taka, and we can't hang out with Hifumi. <laughs> Damn it, Hifumi. Why can't we hang out with him? Because oh, he's, he's sad, remember? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's Kyoko. You want to you wanna hang out with Kyoko? You know what? Yeah, why not? Mm. I hung out with her last time. Why not hang out with her again? I thought she was in the bath. Was she in the bath? Let's figure it out. <laughs> well, hey, no, girl. I, I was right. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> Man, Kyoko, have you put on some weight? There are so many mysteries. There are mysteries upon mysteries uh, upon these riddles. Hmm, should I spend time talking to Koko? Kyoko? Kyo Kyo Whatever. Could you, wow. <laughs> could you imagine if Kyoko is just standing there and she talks to her all of a sudden? He's trying to figure out what to do. She's just sitting there like, am I supposed to talk? What's he doing? And Makoto just sitting there like, hmm, what to do? <laughs> right. I'm in my own position to tell you what to do, if you do do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. I joined Kyoko while she's at school. We didn't say anything to each other. Okay. And yet somehow we got closer. Yep. <laughs> we were closer proximity-wise. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can give her something. <laughs> let's see what, what we can get her. What did she like last time? Uh, she liked... She quote-unquote liked... Uh, let's just give her some tea. Let's tea. give her food. See if she'll like the tea. I would, I would think that would be for. Uh, would that be for Celeste? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want to give her something else. What's the coffee? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Yes, nothing says I like you than ramen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, classes. Okay. <laughs> we could give her one of our multiple hand drops. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could give her flowers. Let's see if anyone who see if she likes that. Uh, I think I'll give her the coffee, actually. You want to give her the coffee? Or an old tiny radio. Well, there's no school, no reception in school, so you can't hear anything anyway. I mean, that's up to you. I'll give her a copy. I'll give her a copy. Can I scroll past her? No. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my keyboard clicking as I do this. Yeah! I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know I was interested in this? You're an enigma, Makoto Nagi. You're an enigma upon these riddles, upon these questions. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> More dots. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? Yeah. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. <laughs> oh my god. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like we're gonna, if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm hmm? You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships it may help prevent killings. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? D -d -d are you... Wait, uh, Kyoko, are you insinuating that Makoto may be trying to get up your skirt? Because in which case, I think, I think, he may not be interested in that. <laughs> Considering how stoic you are, it could just be like humping a bag of sand. I would, I would offer the explanation that maybe Makoto is asexual like me, but no. He did the, he did the scene with the, with the man's fantasy, so. He, he said big boobed supermodel. Right. I, I'm not gonna let that yeah. go. I'm You're not right. gonna let You're that right. go because. <laughs> Why did he choose to focus on that? Yeah, you, Why? you have a very good point. It was just pinpointed, like... It's like his mind didn't see a face, didn't see a model. It, it was just like, it was like one of those mannequins, but it had like huge bookings. It was like, he just looked at it like, 
like like his giant hamalanga nongangas. Brain just turns to mush and he goes boo. Cats. <laughs> you could be seizing this, pretending to be everyone's friend, so you can gather information. Wait, wow. wait. Are you like basic ass bitch from a Kodo? He's secretly. It's a perfect disguise. Exactly. No one expects the basic bitch. Yep. They suspected him in the first act. I mean, I guess that's true, man. <laughs> no, that's what? not. Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? Uh, test. That's right. If you're as gung ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, oh okay. So I just have to answer your question. Is that it? So then. Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? And? If that's true, what is your ultimate ability? That's an easy one. That, that is an easy one. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> nice! It's <laughs> easy ultimate nice body. <laughs> Why is that an option? <laughs> is he the cat's fed up with the game shit? Oh. Is she leaving? Is, is his mom leaving? I don't know. Can we... Can we out? finally... Go out and ask him. Uh, I don't wanna... Yeah. I mean, you have to let the cat out anyway. Do I? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna stare out the window like a... Yeah, she's leaving. Okay. We yeah, can be can we, we can, can I finally talk in my normal voice? Yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, can you want out? By the door. Well, she doesn't want out, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh as soon as you sit down. She goes, Meow! Oh, I know she will. <laughs> okay. Even the old Mr. Moon crew, of course. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kitty, why? <laughs> uh, come up here, Kitty. Okay, so, we're gonna be loud. Well, you know. We can be loud ish. Ish, yeah. I mean, we don't wanna break everyone's eardrums! <laughs> right. right. Um, well, ask and an asked and answered. It would seem. Then your pee please have come around. Peas. My yeah. peas. No. Kitty, no. But but spelled like as the vegetable, considering yeah. there's no L. Right. Like they're they're all peas in a pod. <laughs> uh, then in Hina's case, that pod's gonna be very tight, considering her boobs. I'm disappointed. <laughs> You can be disappointed all you want. Okay. <laughs> what I know what she wanted. Oh, she wants her head scratched by that thing, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah it's okay. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a, a foolishly open person could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or did your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose? Why all the question marks? Oh, uh, anyway, okay. So, well, she was living abroad because of her dad's job. What kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret... He, she's, it's just like she doesn't even know. She's all defensive when it comes to her. Just like, okay, what do you want to know? She starts talking and it's like, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> she's like so focused on her detective work or whatever, because that's what she is, right? No, Kitty. Yeah, she wants out now, doesn't she? <laughs> Ego. <laughs> Come on. Go on. That's what you wanted, right? Go on. <laughs> okay. uh, so does uh so does Hop Secret work for other governments? All I can think of is Assassin? Woo. Come to my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. We didn't even look at what? Okay. We you didn't even get to learn anything about it. You just like gave us like a foreign Concept of what you, what do you do? It sounds like you're still trying to be quiet. We don't have to be quiet anymore. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to control myself, considering she's putting us up with fucking bullshit. Right. So full of mystery. And here M mystery? No. No. Replace the word mystery with bullshit, and then I'll have as much clarification as you fucking need. <laughs> right. 
And uh, hearing what she had to say, just hadn't even warn Mister on top of everything. The type of bullshit. Go Did we get the loot? Card, max number of skill points. points. Hey, look at us go. We can definitely you equip everything for the next trial again. Okay, is this more free time or is this night time? Oh, let's see. Oh, the music's still going, so I'm guessing it's free time. Okay, wow. Yeah, okay, well, let me, uh... So, yeah, you, can I... I get to choose the next one, right? Yeah. Yay! Okay, let's see. Is she still... Is she still... Is she still... Is she still... We just want to be sad. Let's hang out with Biakia. Yeah. It looks like everyone's on the floor. Hmm... You know what? I <laughs> what? I want to see if Toko is Genocide Jack still. Okay. If, if she is, then... And then we can't. And we're gonna shoot something else. Right. Uh, uh, she would be in the hallway. Over there. Right there. She's Genocide Jack. Son of a bitch! Oh, who the fuck made her sneeze? Okay, let's hang out with Celeste again. Celeste? She's my dark queen, okay? Celeste's gonna die, isn't she? No! Why do you want me to hang out with Celeste so badly? Because I never got to know what her freaking deal is. You never I, the, I, uh, yeah. no, the thing is, like, I've seen everyone else's, but I have yet to watch Celeste's free time events. I see. Like, and, and I, I just, just like her costume, I like her face, and I just want to see her plowed into the dirt. Into the dirt? Oh, they specific? Okay, it, it's, she's it's, in the kitchen. It's sexual. Oh. Sexually. Blowed into the dirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't catch that. I, I was just thinking you wanted to, like, take her face and just shove it into the ground for some reason. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. What? We haven't gambled since we got those new coins. You're right, we haven't. You wanna go gamble? We could. Let's go gamble. Alright. <laughs> okay, kids. Here we go. Let's go gamble. <laughs> uh, that's quite right, yeah. <laughs> But you need those mana coins to get into college! We're in high school, fuck off! <laughs> oh, goodness. I wanna to talk to Sakura again at some point, but... You wanna talk to Sakura? At some point. We can talk to Sakura if you want! Are you sure? Yeah, let's go talk to Sakura! Okay. I just think Celeste is pretty. And pretty damn fucking fuckable. <laughs> okay. Hey! It's the, it's the outfit, you know. Yeah. Oops, yeah, not to mention she gives off this big mistress vibe. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, look, I, I am for Sakura. Yeah. Oops. See, I know it's just seventy percent right now, but like doing more than one doesn't really give you that. Another big, fucking uh, blueberry, fucker. Cause like, look, if I do two, it doesn't do that much. Yeah. So it's like even the point. Is that me? No, that's one of the books. Nope. We, yeah. we, we re-got the book. No, apparently that's new. Okay. I don't know. That's definitely new. Oh my gosh, we're getting so lucky today. <laughs> we're up all night to get it lucky. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Though. We got another one of those. Yes. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought the cat went, wow! I think that was the cat, yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, he wants back in. <laughs> What's that do? A bird seed. Oh, okay. Meow! Baby! Baby! A golden gun! A new! A new gun! Yay! Oh. I don't know what that is. But yeah, we already got one of those. Okay. Unfortunately, but hey, we got lucky though. Ah, another two shell pad. God. What a, I'd love to see Makoto get out of here. He's just bringing back a wheelbarrow. It's oh, like, geez. It's like, he has like, all his shit. It's like, Makoto, what do you need all that for? You never know when you're gonna need a chinchilla pad. You got like ten of them! <laughs> Listen, I, like, I have this rare stiff pad. I have like five of these rare statues. I can sell them online. I'm sure her Fumi would buy them for a great amount. Probably. I mean... Or maybe other Hifumi clones? <laughs> Is that new? <laughs> That's new! Sweet! Yay! We All ended right. on something new! Oh, oh wrong button. That's probably good going. Yes. Yep. Let's go talk to Sakura! Okay. 
Uh, she was in the dining hall. Why don't I just teleport? Like my character. Just press the button on my glasses and then off you go. <laughs> What the heck? My soda got stuck to the napkins. <laughs> Why though? It's fused. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm mm. You know, I never actually haven't hung out Hello. with Aoi yet. Did you need something? We did hang out with Aoi. Oh yeah, we did that one time. Yeah. Okay. We, we, got, we talked about getting it's a selfie. So and how she sticks out in her patio naked. Oh yeah, that's right! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Okay. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Yeah. Doctor, I said after tea. And why I tea? Can't, who? If you're this normal student, why don't you drink a soda like everyone else? Because she's trying to, like, she has to be careful about. She, she Sakura can drink tea because she's healthy, but Makoto is a basic ass. Bitch. Oh, you're wondering why why Makoto's, why Makoto's drinking the tea and not the fucking soda. See, there's obviously soda in there because we keep getting it in the fucking vending machine. Uh, Is that a soccer present? Yes, definitely. Should we give her the tea? No. Uh, we know what we have to give her. The uh, wrap? Man. I think so. Well, we'll have to see what the wrap does. Wait, what? Go back. Max gloves? No. I got a board charm. Now A uh, charm devised by a protected deity of martial arts. Uh, that's her hero. Uh, oh! She liked it! I was scared for a second. I was like, oh no. Did I... I thought that was for hero, but I said, apparently she loves it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Are you sure I can have something so valuable? Okoto. I... So then. Since we already talked so much. It's okay to talk a little more, right? Seeing Zaku so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> okay. I suppose I don't mind talking with you a little more. You practically begged me to talk more just a second ago. Don't we, even we gave you an ancient talisman. Don't, don't even try to be coy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Princess. Really? Then can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's about what we were talking about before. You said there's someone else. We, we did hang out with Sakura! Yeah. Oh! I just wanted to continue hanging out with her. Okay. I mean, I like her. <laughs> oh, not I not in that <laughs> way. I just think she's cool. <laughs> You know, getting a massage from her. Oh, God. That would break all of your bones. <laughs> you never know. She could be delicate when she needs to be. That's true. Can I ask? Is it a guy or a girl? <laughs> It's a man. <laughs> Quit stealing my character. I just, uh, for some reason, I automatically... Yeah, he has less of him than you think. Shut up, Sakura. <laughs> Sayaka. Why don't you learn who to fucking talk about? <laughs> a man that Sakura has to... Yeah, Sakura has to... I thought I said Sayaka. For a, <laughs> a man that Sayaka has to... Bad. I must become the ultimate human! Uh, maybe she's talking about her own teacher? Which would mean... Right? <laughs> you taught yourself. Right? Yes. <laughs> you taught yourself. You were talking about your dad. The family dojo has been passed down from generation to generation for the past three centuries. Three centuries? That's one heck of a history. Mm. I was born into my family as an only daughter. Male or female doesn't matter. It's my duty to protect our legacy. And because I am a woman, I must be even stronger than if I were a man. <sighs> Some would say that a woman is incapable of becoming the strongest human alive. I want to prove them wrong. That's, uh, that's pretty commendable. Which is why I've subjected myself to such feverish training under my father's instruction. Surpassing my father was certainly important to me. Well. But that was just a matter of time. What do you mean? Hmm. I was 14 years old when I first beat my father in a sparring match. After that, I never lost to my father again. Wait, then... Hmm. Yes, I have already surpassed my father. I don't believe it. Well... I'm not sure I did the right thing. 
My father also had the desire to become the strongest human alive. But I can't look back. I can only move forward to try to claim that title for myself. That is my destiny. Goodbye. Well, that's all for now. That was enjoyable. Goodbye. Without another word, Sakura left me standing there alone. Wait, hold on. I she never, never answered the fucking question! I never did find out who the fuck She, like, half answered it. A quarter answered it. All right. we know is that the fucking fucker is male. Right, so I guess that just leaves the other half of the population. Yeah? <laughs> Two thirds of the population. Wait, are there more whales than people? I don't know. I thought so. I thought he read something about that once. You just unlock the skill. Breathing technique. technique! Give yourself a pat on the back, okay. Ow! <laughs> I did that harder than I thought I did. Ow! Good grief, Ryan. <laughs> I'm a laugh. Uh, oh, the music's changing. It's nighttime. Huh? There's something by my door. Uh, there's a story. Uh oh. What is it? This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But do you want to meet up suddenly? Who wrote it? And why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can check the clock and check it out now. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Ryan. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyone, uh, anyone around that I can talk to before I go? No, I don't think so. I mean, it is nighttime, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Who is it? Who summoned me here? Okay. Pothead! No. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. No. That is you! Shit, I forgot. I re-switched. Oh, <laughs> oh, Makoto! Hero? And I gotta find him in my room. You know? Yup, I wrote it. Damn. Your handwriting is really nice. Mm. Well, I was always taught if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come haunting you. <laughs> well, I guess I have a ghost haunting me then. <laughs> me too. Where is he? <laughs> Where is it? It's right. probably, mine's probably just me and be a dog. No. It's a dog haunting me, biting my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, why did you want to come meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually, I'm just an air boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Let's you go take a bath. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> I summoned you from your room. Let's go take a bath. <laughs> That's probably because of uh, the AI. Yeah. yeah. No, I. I was totally lost. He grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered in my ear. You're serious? It's an axe. My master mind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? <laughs> fuck it. Did Alter Ego fuck his search? <laughs> <laughs> did he fuck up already? The damn computer! You, Fucking malware! You got it, hero. Let's have a tip 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 Wait, I pronunciate! Society is the only one making fun of everyone. Leon's just like, dude, you just gotta calm down. Shut the fuck up, pussy! Oh, Jesus. Listen, I was the first to die. I get to... I get to mess with everyone in the afterlife. Ooh. Cut, cut, cut. Sayaki, you, you gotta stop. This is a blooper reel. Shut the fuck up. Jeez. <laughs> I was barely in this movie. I was barely in this production. Right. Damn you, Kojima! <laughs> But me and Hero hurry to the dressing room. Oh, oh even Miyaki is here. Interesting. As soon as I got in the dressing room, my angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey! You! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced through the air as he stared and pointed pointed po stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls! <laughs> Shut up! What? What'd you say? You want you want me to make you cry, little girl? Uh -huh. <laughs> Fucking Randy Orton. Fuck off. Next Sunday night! <laughs> good grief. <laughs> watch out, watch out! You can pace for the whole seat, but you only need the edge! <laughs> Taka, he seems very worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Maybe he's starting to grow a personality. Huh! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. I know what he's trying to say, but like, just say shit. Okay, Taka, he doesn't curse. He doesn't. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm gonna curse that part. What? You got a lot of shit falling out of that mouth of yours. You know that? Uh, but it's it, it's aligned with his character. Right? I know, I know, I know. But I'm the one voicing him, so. All right. It's just like <laughs> no the voice actor, voice actor, the voice actor just. You cut, cut. You know you're not supposed to say that, right? His, why isn't he supposed to cuss? He's supposed to have this great character development, but no, he, he says poop instead of shit. Come on, say, say the line correctly. Fine. Ready, uh, action. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? It reminds me, uh, remember when we played Night in the Woods? I didn't play that with you. I know, but you remember when we played on the channel? I'm trying to remember, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, um, well basically, there was cussing in that game, right? But that was actually before I started cussing. So I would I would use replacement words like this. It was actually <laughs> during that series that I actually started cussing. <laughs> now we're doing the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dog and Rob, I love you. <laughs> How rude! A mega like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master! Gross. Dude. Oh. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Why weren't you like that earlier when we were trying to talk to you? Shut up! Hey, come on! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? And my messenger duty is complete. Thank you, Hermes. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? We gotta have something to do with Elder Ego, right? It's gotta. That's, right. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Did you find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, let's talk to everyone so, uh, besides her. So, so Kyoko, you gonna, you gonna tell just, us what's up? Uh, uh, just room. Uh, we need 30 seconds of room time. <laughs> You're such a jerk! Alright, well fuck you too. Right. What's your problem? Well, what do you want? Am I really the one you should be talking to right now? God, that damn it, personality! Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. This may be about alter ego, but Kyoko seems to be acting kind of strange. Yeah, she seems normal to me. I mean, we did talk to her, so... <sighs> like I said, it's almost ten! Hurry up and spill it! A clue! A clue! You finally found a clue! What the fuck is this? Blue's Clues? We just got a letter. We just, just got, got a letter. letter. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. Her face is even like fucking Blue's Clues. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Come on, we gotta ask where Kyoko is. What? Grab the bone. Grab the bone. <laughs> <I asked. laughs> Come here, girl. <laughs> Grab the bone. Grab the bone. I accidentally, uh, I, I, it's... Ask Kyoko what it is, but I actually said ask what Kyoko is. <laughs> Kyoko. What is Kyoko? Kyoko's a bitch. Whoa! <laughs> it is nearly night time, is it not? If we absolutely must converse, I would like, I would at least like to do it quickly. Hmm. Kyoko sure is taking her sweet time with this. What? What? Is whatever it is really amazing? Yeah, I know, right? She could be just be saying it, but no, I have to come up to her and talk to her. I'm curious as well. So long as it's not boring. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. The fire and I missed. Take me back here in this case. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's what I discovered. The alter ego. Alter ego, the laptop. It disappeared. <laughs> Shit's going down. What? No way. <laughs> You're <laughs> kidding, right? Oh. Um. Huh? What? She's gone? Damn you! You can't be budging serious right now. What'd you do with him? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told El to go to the KL, and if he didn't recognize, if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was a mess line, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just... missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way... Not all day, we started to talk to you and then you just fucking left. <laughs> oh yeah, we searched around the entire school. I... You're... <laughs> you're I was there! Liar! Right. <laughs> but, but if it wasn't a mastermind, then... <laughs> The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It can only have been him! Without a 
Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. No, I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. I take offense Whoa. to that, good sir. I take offense to that, good sir. I could snap you in half. <laughs> That's not something an ultimate moral compass would say. Taka, I'm disappointed in you. Taka, I swear to God. <laughs> Children, you know, this is even for my final four! I still have three more transformations left! Damnations! No, wait, I mean, it wasn't me! Everyone knows you're the thief! Wrong! It's you! You're serious? Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told old Jiko to yell at me to talk about Hufumi came into the dressing room. What? What?! <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. That's pretty smart. Yeah. But I never heard to me yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstance are be circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Fumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hino, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would it, any of us want to steal old Rigo? How about for this for this reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the <laughs> one who stole all their ego. Spy! <laughs> Fucking team. What is this? TF2? I saw <laughs> That soldier is a spy! Right. You know those uh I saw a meme that had like, you know, Spyro the dragon, and it was like, it had me looking pretty pleased. And then they just zoomed in on the spy part of Spyro, and he was like, ah! <laughs> They're like glowing red eyes. SPY! <laughs> right. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be! Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought in someone to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No. It's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care. I don't care. Like... Oh, someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head against the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up. But still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they, would have ta they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear it! I will save her! Using the power of love! Ding dong ding dong. <laughs> and the power of it's night time. Is this, uh, normal? <laughs> Or think so. Oh. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors. Okay then. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be it done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. <laughs> Fuck you. Real men don't feel! They punch! They dominate! They devour! <laughs> Anything we do at night breaks a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I... agree with you. If we run around uh, tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice. And we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. 
<laughs> this is fine. Okay, that, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hmm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying on a mastermind. Are we just going to believe this guy? He's an asshole. An asshole with a point. Damn it, no one asked you, Hagrid Curry. I know. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered a small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then that hope was taken away. Despair. It's just like... It's like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, we can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing is that it isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything else. Damn it! I threw myself into bed, trying to shake up all those unsettling thoughts, before I fell into a restless sleep. Hmm. <laughs> you seem very suspicious. Murder is a word whose... Ugh, damn it, I said it in the Celeste voice. Ah! Yeah. Uh, murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Okay. Ding dong bing bong. Yeah, yeah. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first thing first, the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting for me there... What was waiting for you there? You're not answering us. What? <laughs> Just like, he's not answering us. Oh. <laughs> Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There are only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However... Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. Okay. So we decided to wait in case anyone else would show up. But no longer, no matter how long we waited. Um. So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Why haven't the others come? Because I mean, here when Celeste and have never missed a day till now. What I really worried about is Fumi and Taka. They're more eager than anyone to look for Alvigo, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. She was distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive, and there was no way something wouldn't have happened eventually. Monokuma's motive... MONEY! Ten or, or as some people, or as some people would say it... YASHA MONEY! Present for whichever I guess. Student makes. What do you think? It's, it's like total... Yeah, you already heard that voice, but... Don't tell me something did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You never really know what another person... What is this? You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here. You can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for people who never showed up. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces and we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Okay, well... Uh, uh, just start investigating random rooms. Yeah. <laughs> the unused classrooms. Things that don't have anything going on in them ever. Except for the fucking blackboard. Right. 
I guess, uh, let's look for Monokuma coins while we're here. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Uh oh! Very professional. Oh, that's just another scam call. I recognize that number. They keep calling me. My phone always says, like, scam likely. Yeah, I know. And so that's why I never answer them. Um. Uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna pause the episode real quick. And I'm back. Uh, sorry, I just had to help a friend real quick. Didn't take no, very long. No, there was lying. You can't think of buying stuff some porn. What? Why would I need to pause in the middle of a recording to do that? It's very special point. You know, <laughs> the kind you can only get once in a lifetime. Like that fucking camera! <laughs> what? The Hifumi's camera. Oh, right. Uh, oh, these... look. The desk is still how it is when you woke up. Yeah. <laughs> are these classes actually ever used for anything? Uh, t one is. Oh, okay. but that's later. All right. Well, nothing in these bathrooms. Uh, hey! Uh, That's Owie. Someone, come here! What? That was Hina. He was supposed to be checking the third floor. He was to have a think. I was running up the stairs before you knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please! Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The raccoon door was open. I knew it! So would have nerfed, didn't they? <laughs> no! And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I think... I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get him. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I can say anything, she was looking downstairs. Rec room? What did she see in there? At this point, I was just asking about thinking. So without thinking, I left into the... I <laughs> jump into there. DYNAMIC ENTRY! Someone died in the rec room, didn't they? No. No one died in the rec room. <laughs> someone was killed and brought into the rec room. No! Fucking... <laughs> someone was injured in the rec room! <laughs> this game! <laughs> this game messes with expectations! <laughs> come on, come on, come on in. <laughs> He'll need a stress kitty. <laughs> ah! It's like, it's like, it sets it up. It sets it up making you think there's someone dead. <laughs> you just see someone fucking beat up. I didn't know she liked it like that. Good grief. Okay, hi Celeste. Yes. What happened? It was Celeste and she was hurt. <laughs> so we have to fucking <laughs> Oh, hold on Celeste. Let me just look at the, look at the. Oh, we should play a game of a fellow. Yeah, hey, hey, you wanna play some dead over there? Maybe maybe, like, maybe we can play maybe we can play some pool, you know. I look at a strip <laughs> some strip poker, you know. I don't have time to think about couches. <laughs> come on, just click on me. I don't have time to think about this. Oh come on, you're not gonna say pool. You said couches, you said No, table. what the fuck? Kitty! What about this? <laughs> you I just let you in! Baby! Go on! Get out if you want out! <laughs> what is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. It's like whack-a-mole hammer or whatever. Something right around the head. Written. Justice hammer? <sighs> that is the hammer he attacked me with! I didn't want to talk to you yet, but okay. Uh, what? wait, who? Did I- did I miss who attacked her by not talking to her? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I barely managed to avoid the blow. But I st uh, no, I I started your different voice for here. I turned into the Sayaka voice. Yeah. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. Sayaka, why are you reading my fucking mind? You're <laughs> dead. Because I wanted to feel pretty, Dad. What? I wanted to be important again. I died first. <laughs> I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So your attack with this. Justice Hammer 1. Was she just like hit on the side of her face? Oh, so maybe I still can adapt. I thought they were good. Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk out. <laughs> Fucking. This is one of the monitor. Wait, you actually. Okay. I'm I gonna should... say I don't have time to think about darts. I don't have time. To... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have time to think about magazines. Let's just. Oh. List... <laughs> oh. I was gonna say, let's just list all the things I don't have time to think about. I don't have time to think about these damn bottles. I don't have time to think about lockers. Is someone in here? Someone in this locker? 
Can I actually enter this room? That's uh, that's the door out. Oh. Leaving isn't gonna do any. How come sometimes the door out is eh, whatever? <laughs> Makoto. I mean, we kind of already were talking, but okay. Celeste, what happened? Did you get hit in the head with a hammer like you just told me five minutes ago? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Is it Hifumi? Oh, hold on. Kitty, I'm not letting her. <laughs> no. She had her chance. She had her chance. <laughs> Could you could you imagine there's a cat out there all of a sudden starts scratching one of the desks like, cat, you're not supposed to be in this school. <laughs> <laughs> cat. <laughs> Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. So it's no one we've met. Maybe. Mm. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. I think that's Owie. Makoto, Celeste. Hey! Okay. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime is not over yet. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. Then why are you on the third floor? Just wait. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that's where I first saw the strange man. I immediately became wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him and after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... <sighs> and that's when you were attacked. <clears throat> it happened after 7 a.m. Just after nighttime, it ended. So if it happened just after seven o'clock, <laughs> then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <sighs> the attack caused me to lose consciousness, which was mean. I was unconscious for about an hour. But well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> that is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm -hmm. You did. As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I even healed the wound on my cheek. <laughs> I offered to lick his boots. Whatever it took. Hmm. This seems awfully suspicious. I mean, we're dealing with a suspicious individual here. She is refusing to say who it is, even though she would have gotten a good enough look at him. Unless it's someone we've never met yet, but how would they have gotten into school? Also, she's not the type of person to lick boots. Remember how she threw Hifumi's... Like tea because it wasn't. Yeah, but people do strange things when they're at Hammer Point. <laughs> hammer Point. I can't say Gun Point because there's no guns in the school. Yeah, fair. But also, yeah, just 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 keep playing. Suspicion increase. Just okay. keep playing. Let's see. So you were willing to threat, willing to throw away all of your pride. Indeed. It, it is a necessary skill for survival. I guess she is the adaptation person. You know, adaptation. Yeah. Fine. Adaptability. I'll give it you that one, but anyway. The important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. I swear to God. Celeste, what do you mean, a serious problem? No, what the fuck? Why did you... Did you <laughs> <have one? laughs> no, I just walked over here. You were just looking over there like a fucking idiot. <laughs> When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him. Yes. Hifumi. Oh. Okay. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean, Hifumi was kidnapped? Oh no. Um... Should we... <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? So Hifumi is the one going to die in this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. What do you mean? She has a camera! Show us. Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down. 
It's digital camera. Right. So they took a picture of him. You don't mean... Actually. Yes. Oh, that's you. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. And also, apparently someone thinks he could do my lines properly with grace and elegance. Fuck you. Why did you <laughs> just say you took a picture of him from the start, though? You could have just like, I, I saw a suspicious She voice. got hit with a fucking hammer! Okay? I mean, seriously? Let's see it. Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that same tone in mind, we all took a look at the camera. Suspicious individual, yes. So this weird robot guy dragged Kifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if you don't hurry, you could become a serious problem. Why so why are you standing around talking then? I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. Let's look back at this! <laughs> The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Tifumi away. And, and it happened over an hour ago. That's me. <laughs> you are the 16th class member, Nick! I knew it! No. You escaped into the real world! Punishment time! Ah! <laughs> you figured me out. I will not go slightly into the night! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then happened over an hour ago. Sakura stealing my line. Oh, it was Makoto. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> this is bad. We have to hurry. This is worse than bad. <laughs> this is weird. So, Celeste, do you know where the mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of... Oh, huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? <laughs> he started talking in a girl voice like, Oh shit, I gotta keep these covered. It's... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed to this room and down the second, rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you. <clears throat> hey, you two. What? What's going on? What's with all the fuss? <laughs> for some, for some <laughs> reason, like I, I, I heard it as like a really nonchalant, like British old guy, like, hmm, hello there. Hello, you two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gonna play a game or something? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have you ever seen... Have, have, <laughs> have either of you seen Kyoko or her friend? <laughs> I've not seen it. <laughs> no doubt! Sure haven't! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. You just got here? You just... We came here together! Stop talking. No, you're just stopping. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? What? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like it's something interesting going on. Okay. Hit for me! 
Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! The voice I get on the hall in vain. Hmm? Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Yeah, I heard the cat scratching at the fucking door again. <laughs> I'm not letting her in! Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We're in the library as fast as I'd like to carry us. When we open the door in the library. <sighs> okay, so one's gonna be dead. Right? Maybe. <laughs> no, it's just fucking injured again! <laughs> I've been playing! Twice! <laughs> Twice! <laughs> <laughs> God, who Fumi? Seriously injured. And his eyes fucking cat faces. Are you okay? Um... No, no. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no. I, I think I'm very far from okay. No, I'm not okay. Nothing about this is okay. Hey, Fumi, did you know that you have blood on your head? That's a period. What? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, I hope you die. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're still alive. Mm -hmm. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. A guy hit me. What guy? Mm -hmm. Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What, what, did what you are say? you talking about? Uh, I'm guessing I gotta... Talk to Yaku in advance, right? No. Talk to I think you talk. I think you click the hammer to advance. Okay, well. I'll talk to everyone, but leave Hafumi <laughs> to second. Whoa! Fat boy took some serious shell whacking. <laughs> I am glad to see he is still alive. You don't look like it. I'm seriously happy Hafumi's still alive, but Robo Justice. This just keeps getting stranger. Yeah, you're telling me. Okay, now click on the up here. Alright. I missed! <laughs> right. What, what did you Robo say? Robo Justice? Okay. Now try to put me. Oh, damn it. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hibumi. Isn't that right, Hibumi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice! It can't be! Robo Justice, huh? Damn. Uh, did we... This just keeps getting stranger. <gasps> yes, we were supposed to get, click the hammer! Okay, phew. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is... This is hammer number two. This is hammer two. No Ooh. number. There's no number sign. I don't care. On top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with a hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. I think he did more than bonk. I think he fractured your skull. So, just as hammer one, merely like, kind of just like beat up Celeste a little bit, just as hammer two caused him to bleed, I'm gonna guess that just as hammer three is really big and crushed someone's actual skull fucking in. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Maybe we don't even know this is Justice Hammer 3. I'm gonna guess this is how it's gonna play out. <laughs> well a hammer that big, I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Hey. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> <laughs> Protein! <laughs> right. I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? I want to do it. I bet. It's him! <laughs> A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get interesting. Exciting. Exciting, whatever. Let me have my lines where I... If you correct me one more time, I will execute you! <laughs> what kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? It's all heat. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Oh yeah, we have one of those now. I forgot to check it while we had free time. Uh, whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. 
Yeah. You're right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Hey, time. It's a black screen. We're gonna end. Someone's gonna be dead in the nervous's office. <laughs> You're so suspicious. I am very suspicious. <laughs> In the next episode, we'll probably find a dead body. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.